Hello everybody, it's Darren. I'm back with another bourbon review in celebration of the Vikings uh, literally last second victory over the New Orleans Saints. Um, as a lot of you know, my uh, other team outside of the Denver Broncos has always been the Minnesota Vikings. Obviously, I'm a diehard boiler. Uh, also, as you could probably tell from my first video with my uh, Purdue sweatshirt, uh, love Drew Brees, always have. Um, but uh, I'm pretty, pretty stoked about the Vikings uh, winning today. Um, hopefully, we can go to Philadelphia and beat the Eagles and get a home Super Bowl, which has never happened in NFL history. Um, but if we get there, they need to win because they've lost four. Um, as a franchise, only the uh, Buffalo Bills uh, have done that. And so I don't want them to break an NFL record with number five loss and get their first Super Bowl win. I think they deserve it. Uh, I started following them back in the late 80s with Eric Kramer at quarterback and, and that whole group. Uh, Fran Tarkenton took him to four Super Bowls and lost. But anyway, this isn't about the NFL. It's not about Super Bowls. It's about bourbon, uh, which is a, a passion of mine. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about, as you can see, I've already drank quite a bit of it. Uh, Jim Bean put out a uh, limited release of the Distiller's Cut. This is kind of, I guess, Fred Nose um, combination of different bourbons uh, that Jim Bean uh, distills. And um, it's been really good. Uh, I bought it for 20 bucks. Uh, it's not real expensive. It comes in a nice box. Uh, if you collect boxes, I've got mine under the counter here. But um, it's a traditional Jim Beam taste. Uh, a little bit of what I think, anyway, um, Jim Beam Black, which is the world's number one rated bourbon. Uh, I haven't done a video on that yet, but I will. <clears throat> I just have a colored bottle up on top from where I finished one. But, um, and a little bit of the original Jim Beam White Label, which you can pick up for 16 to 18.99 CVS or your local, uh, stores here in Seymour or whatever. But uh, we're gonna pour this again. I'm gonna be using a Glencairn glass. Um, I've already had a sip or two tonight in celebration of the Vikings win. But uh, it's a really nice color. It's a little bit darker than you would get with the Jim Beam white label. Not quite as dark as a Jim Beam black or devil's cut. I posted a like a faux commercial for Jim Beam's devil cut and black on my Facebook page. Um, but anyway, I'm going to pour a little bit into this Glen Karen, um, just enough to where you can kind of see the color. Um, again, it's not going to be as rich as a Knob Creek color. Um, about the same as the EH, uh, EH Taylor that I did a video on a couple weeks ago. You can see it's, it's a little bit more of a copper color, um, doesn't grip the glass as well as what the E.H. Taylor did. Um, as far as the nose would go, a little bit of spice is going on in there. Again, I'm not a sommelier, um, but uh, good, not a lot of burn. This is a 50% by volume, so again, another 100 proof. Jim Beam, um, my favorite distiller by far. Um, the only uh, bottle I've got left to buy, actually two from Jim Beam, is Booker's, um, which I can get for $89 around town here. And uh, the Master Distillers, which is, runs about $239. I'll probably be picking that up around March. Um, I may not drink it, though, because that's expensive bourbon. But... Um, Anywho, it's a little bit different. If you can see on the bottle here, um, it's got more of a silver or chrome colored Jim Beam. Of course, you can see the distiller's cut down in there. Uh, the traditional bottle shape that you would find with Jim Beam Black or Jim Beam Devil's Cut, Jim Beam Double Oak. They all come in this type of bottle. Um, it's not corked. It is a screw top. So if it's a little bit hot for you, a little bit too much alcohol, I guess. You can just fill this small cap full of water, put it in your Glen Karen or your highball glass or whatever. And not only does that lower the um, alcohol level, um, it also, for some people, will open the notes of the actual bourbon itself and give it a little bit different smell, different nose. Um, again, I like the 
nose of it. So we're gonna take a little sip here, see if anything else comes out. And again, sometimes after you take that initial uh, taste, uh, the second nose could smell a little different. The second uh, sip could taste a little bit different too. Um, with your bourbon, if you're going to drink it neat like I do, um, you just don't want to gulp it down. That's a shot. Uh, a shot, you're going to lose a lot of the notes because normally it hits the middle of the tongue straight down the throat, and it's just there to get you messed up. And I don't drink bourbon to get messed up. I'm too old to get messed up anymore. But I just drink it for the flavor. It kind of relaxes me a little bit. Um, enables me to unwind from a, a day's work. Uh, today was a real good work day, by the way. Every customer was very sweet, very kind, very pleasant, and uh, very patient because uh, some things aren't in stock right now. But anyway, uh, we're gonna kind of swirl this a little bit. Take another note. There's a little cinnamon in this. I'm picking up some cinnamon, some cherry flavor a little bit. Mm -hmm. So. That's some good stuff, people. Some good stuff. Um, again, not a lot of uh, alcohol burn coming down through the pipe. Um, of course, you always get that white oak char from a good Jim Beam. Never had a bad Jim Beam. Um, very pleasant taste, very mild. Doesn't have any heat in the throat, doesn't have any heat in the nose. Um, it's good stuff, really. So, that was a little different. Almost like a, you know how you smell something and it reminds you of a taste, or you taste something and it reminds you of a smell? That second sip reminded me of like a smell of leather. Like, it's not dry, like, if you were chewing on leather, not that you would chew on leather. But very good overall. 20 bucks, people. Seriously. Good. Good price on this. I picked it up at Vic's Liquor Store here in Seymour. If you want to stop by. Um, my dad used to go to Vic's to pick up his PBR before and after work at Cummins. Um, it's the first time I've been in there and God knows forever because it reminds me of my dad. Uh, love you, dad. But um, the third nose is different. It's the trick of bourbon, baby. Every time you take a sip, the nose will change or your tongue senses will change. Let's take another sip because why not? Vikings won! Ooh. Mm. This is tasty, people. I know this video ran a little bit long because I'm a little stoked about the Vikings win. Um, I recommend any Jim Beam product you can get your hands on, whether it's the white label, double O, Jim Beam's double cut, Jim Beam black labels, my preference. Uh, they also obviously have the Knob Creek 100, Knob Creek 120. Bookers, Bakers, Basil Hayden, for all you millennials that think that you want to become bourbon drinkers, that's a good starting point. Uh, Distiller's Cut is always in there. They've got six different signature lines. Um, I've got the signature 12-year cast strength and also finished in uh, rare Spanish brandy, which that's very tasty. You can pick uh, most of those up over at Northside is what I found. Northside's got the best selection of bourbon uh, that I believe in Seymour. Uh, there are some rare brandies, or I'm sorry, bourbons that you can pick up at also Hildreth's. Uh, Busy Bee has the Jim Beam Bonded, uh, which I really like. It's only like $20.99. So I try to visit all four liquor stores here in Seymour, kind of spread the wealth around. But Northside seems to be the my uh, liquor store of choice. Uh, if you're in Seymour uh, to pick up at, uh, everybody there is very... Um, well hearsed in, in, in not only bourbons but wine, beer, they're very good there. Uh, same thing with, with uh, Hildress. Hildress is a great liquor store here in Seymour. Uh, again, I don't visit Vicks very much. It's not because of customer service or prices or anything like that. It just reminds me too much of my father. And uh, for those of you that know me or my sister, uh, love you, sis. Um, 
you'll understand uh, why uh, it's a little bit more of a sensitive subject. But anyway, uh, thank you for watching this video. If you do, I know it's going on uh, 10 minutes and 15 seconds, a little longer than my first one, but I'm just really excited about my Vikings, you know. Uh, I didn't have much to root for for my Broncos. I love them first. They're always gonna, I'm always going to bleed blue and orange uh, through and through. Uh, but, you know, purple, we're Seymour, baby. We're also the Minnesota Vikings. So uh, thank you guys for watching this. Um, I will make another video here shortly. Uh, probably when I mean shortly, within the next month or so. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get some um, different uh, bourbons you guys may not have heard about or can find on your shelves here in Seymour. But anyway, thank you so much. For watching this video if you do if you don't that's fine too i love you we're still friends peace and go vikings